All right, guys. So I know a lot of you uh, are aware that I won this uh, this knife from Triple X uh, Knives. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work with it, you know, just uh, feeling it out. Basically, uh, I carved the spoon with it. I'll give you a look at that. For those of you who uh, follow me on Instagram, you saw this guy. I really wanted to see what a what a nice thick thick blade like this would do on uh, on some wood with some fine carving, and uh, it did quite well. I mean, it's not my best spoon. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a spoon and I was having trouble with the wood a little bit. It kept on chipping off and I'd had it in my garage for quite some time. It's really seasoned and started to uh, to get um, a little bit on the rotten side, I guess. But uh, I carved away all that junk and I was left off with the uh, leftover with this uh, with this spoon. I'll give you a look at this later, but that's not why we're here. So, when I received this knife and, uh, you know, they told me about uh, what the... Um, what the uh, the scales were made from and all that stuff. I really wanted to get uh, something to go with it. And uh, I know that uh, uh, I saw Spook, uh, Maritime Spook. If you don't know him, check out his channel. I think you'll like it. Um, he does a lot of cool uh, reviews of Triple X Knives. He is their man. So uh, I just wanted to give you give a Spook a bit of a shout out. If you check out some of Spook's videos, you'll see he has this neck knife called the Sable. And um, I really like the I really like my neck knife, the one that I built. Uh, I quite like it. I've used I use it all the time, even though you don't see it on me a lot of times. It's just uh, under my T-shirt. But um, I saw his sable and I really liked it. So I called up uh, or I emailed up uh, the guys at Triple uh, X Knives, and uh, they built me one to go with this, with the same wood. So uh, let's take a look, and uh, I think that's what's in this box. And be careful we don't uh, cut through and ruin anything here. There we go. Box is open. Let's put this guy away. All right, we've got some got some cool stuff here. There it is. How to take care of your knife. You see up at the top, one of one custom, reclaimed oak, to go along with my other one. There it is. And uh, let's open up the knife, I can't wait. Alright, so first I'm going to go with the sheath. At least I think this is the sheath. There's the shoe. Nice triple X logo. Nice sturdy snap. Great looking leather. Look at that. Oh yeah. Just beautiful. May change may change this cord out for uh, for maybe some paracord or um, or some leather. I think leather would look great on there. All right, so here we go with the uh, with the knife. Again, well packaged, all wrapped up, perfect. So there we go. Unroll it. <laughs> Look at that! How nice is that? Red liners to match. Let's get his big brother out here. Look at these. How nice is that? That is freaking awesome. So it really is a three-fingered knife. The handle is pretty, pretty uh, comfortable. You can, I just can't get my pinky on there. It's kind of like half off. But that'll do just about anything you need it to do. Look at that. Red liners. Cool looking pins. You can't even feel them. Like, it's really just part of the wood. Incredible work. Just awesome. No, uh, there's no, um, no transition. You can't feel any transitions in between. In between the, the fit and finish is great. 90 degree spine on the back. Look at that. Triple X Canada. You know what? Since it is a Canada Day weekend, I'd like to wish all those guys in uh, 
you know, all those guys over at Triple X, Spook. Uh, you know, happy Canada Day, boys. So, there it is. We'll uh, slide it into the sheath, see how she fits. She gets in there nice and tight. Ooh, really tight. The retention on that thing's crazy. Like, there's no, no rattle anywhere in there nice and snug. Feels great just hanging around the neck too. The only thing I am kind of concerned about is if it does, oh, you know what? Well, maybe it would. Maybe it would. Be careful I don't cut that off. You know, if the uh, if the snap gets bumped or caught, I'm just worried that maybe the knife would fall out. But I think what I can do is possibly smash this paper. Is basically what I could probably do is uh, remove this and hang it from here. Uh, maybe it won't work either. I don't know. Should be good. I just have to uh, be careful and keep an eye on it that I don't lose it. It's got it's nice and robust too. You feel the weight on it. It's just uh, just awesome. Now I've said this a few times, and I know that you guys uh, may probably agree with me. Uh, if there's one thing that freaking drives me nuts, is when you buy a knife, a brand new knife, a used knife whatever it is a refurbished thing if somebody's gonna sell you a knife it should come sharp and the two of the best knives I've ever received <clears throat> uh, from anybody I know people were talking about uh, you know Mora's coming razor sharp and all that and I am not knocking Mora's at all I've used one for three years and I beat the hell out of my companion splitting logs doing everything with it and I still have it I still love it but when I got it I had to sharpen it my idea of sharp is when you can get a knife and you can shave your arm hairs with it right out of the box. My Kilimpuko was the sharpest knife I ever got and my two XXX knives are right there with it. Really sharp, hair popping sharp, and that's it. So let's take a close look at this one here and we'll, uh, we'll see what's up. I don't know if you can see that right there, but the proof is in the... the the proof is in the peach fuzz, my friends. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. That is a nice sharp knife right out of the box. So, alright guys, that's a quick look at my uh, my necker, my sable necker. Um, I just want to give a shout out to the boys over at Triple X Knives. Thank you so much, man. You do excellent work, and then uh, you know when when I need a knife again. I will definitely be calling you. Um, that uh, Spook's a bit of a jerk. Keeps on showing all these damn cool knives that I just got to get my hands on. Yeah, so anyway, I got to tell you, Spook's done a, a great job showing off these knives. Uh, I got the first one um, by luck. And the second one I ordered myself. And I got to say, uh, you know, guys at Triple X, you guys do excellent work. I'm really happy to, uh, to be uh, using your stuff. And... Uh, you know, uh, I, I got to be honest with you, you'll probably hear from me again. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Uh, hope you liked a quick look at my uh, my Sable Necker. And I want to give you just that one quick look at that spoon that I carved with the other, with the uh, Privateer. Um, I will probably be having to do another spoon with this one. I really like to use, uh, to make spoons with my knives. So first off, just to see how they handle in the hand, how uh, how they feel when you change your different grips. I think it's probably the one of the best ways to figure that out. So I'll give you a quick look at this, and then uh, I'll have to say bye-bye for now. But uh, thanks again for watching. See you again soon. And uh, if you're looking for a knife, I definitely consider, uh, you should definitely consider Triple X Knives. Thanks a lot. Take care. Get out. Explore. That was a nice piece of cherry. Done complete with my privateer, except for the uh, here I use my uh, my Mora spoon knife. I think it's a 162 I have, and double edged one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.